Here at the Weather Channel, you may have heard us talk about the low level jet, but what is it? And well, why should you care, right? Well, first, here's what you need to know. The low level jet is this corridor of fast moving winds. It moves horizontally above the earth, but it's pretty low to the ground, hence the low level part of things. Now, you've heard of thunderstorms, of course. We've got this huge towering cumulonimbus. You've got thunder, you've got lightning. And well, this is a warning sign, right? That there could be a lot of gusty winds. If we were to say zoom into the core of our thunderstorm, it might look something like this with a lot of moving parts. It's very dynamic in those big clouds. We have air that's moving up and we call that the updraft and well air that's moving down creatively named the downdraft and sometimes you can get lots of heavy rain in here or even a cold pocket of air aloft that sends all of this air that's moving around down to the ground and when it hits the ground it spreads out in all directions with very gusty winds and a lot of damage but remember you had the warning you had thunder and you had lightning. When the low level jet is involved, you don't get all that warning. It might look just like a everyday regular old stratiform rain cloud. But remember, the low level jet is nearby. So you have all these strong winds moving horizontally and it's bringing moisture into an area that otherwise wouldn't have it. So now it starts to rain and sometimes that rain is enough to bring that low level jet down to the ground. So all of a sudden, very gusty winds come out of this regular old rain cloud and cause some of the same damage that you might see with a thunderstorm and that's why it's so important to analyze that low-level jet and it's why we talk about it here on the Weather Channel.